Hey, it's JC here at JC's Comics More, your pop culture super at 6725 West Central Avenue. That is Toledo, Ohio, 43617-419-531-6097. Customer Nick just bought this. Roy Thomas, Marvel Age of Comics, and he's going to open it up. We're going to have a quick look-see at it, because I'm excited about seeing what this is, this is about as well. So thank you for opening it here. I appreciate that. Look at that. A nice cover there. Nice shine. You got the back. You got the Jack Kirby Hulk. Although Bruce Banner's blonde there. I don't think Bruce is blonde at that time, but, mm -hmm. but that's very cool. Ooh. Ooh. So it will never be the same again. You got that right. Yeah, it's pretty nice that they got like vintage artwork and scanned in here. Pretty mystery. Man, that's gonna be lots of reading fun there. Yeah, it's gonna take me God, multiple weeks to get through all this. The twenty eighth the Molten Man. It's not even a good. It's not even a mint scan either. It's like that. That's the. I guess that's the great thing that they're. Yeah, because you, you know, can see. Can you see the you know, the stress? You know, with those black covers, that every every little, every little thing just popped. You got the John Severin, Nick Fury, you got the John Severin, the Strange Tales, you got Stranko. Hmm. Sorry. Oh, again the black Panther. John Different Hulks. There's more Stranko. You got, you got Ditko Spidey there, and some other. Oh, FF stuff. Kirby's FF. Spidey. Oh, look at that there. Wow. What would this? That there is probably uh, just a mock-up that, that John did yeah. uh, for the for the cover. John Amita, yeah. Yep. Wow, is that stuff you just don't see? 1969 comic convention. That that's remarkable. Man, that's 50, almost 50 years of yeah uh, of comic. Well, happy, happy boys and, and men there. Yeah. Wow. What we've got. Trying to get through this. Oh, that's interesting. Get the giant size, yep. No, no, there's, not that. There's this. Dave Cockrum. This is interesting. Yeah, we've got a copy of that. I remember buying my copy. I was working at the Fremont Cinema at the time. It was in January. It was cold. Went down to Trumpers and got, got my copy. And, boy, I couldn't wait to get home and just read that thing a dozen times and go to school and come home the next day and read it again. again. Jim Shooter, there's Jim Starlin, the Howard the Duck. Where? Yeah, the Howard the Duck. Oh. There's the Make America, Get Down America. That was that's when Howard ran for president. That's, that's Frank Bruner. You got Dave Cockrum, from X Men, uh, New X Men ninety four. Internals. Kirby's Internals. Get yours. Mighty Marvel Comic Con 1975. If I go back in time, I'll go back to 1975. And did you, were you here? Huh? You, did you? No, no. Oh. No, no. In 1975, even, even though I like comics, there'd be no way in hell my parents would have ever, 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 even, even for, you know, a, a nanosecond would have been like, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go there. Stanley is speaker man. Captain Britain. Marvel tryout book. I tried out. I tried out for Marvel. I sent really? that stuff in. I was I was crushed. Well they'd hire you then. There's that. The Thirty cent copy. Star Wars. That was my first exposure to Star Wars. And I read that and then when the movie came out, I just couldn't wait to see the movie. Kirby. Nice. 
got Barry Smith, there's Wendy, Wendy Peeney, who went on to do uh, ElfQuest. You got uh, Dave Cockrum artwork. And you've got Neil Adams. Uh, be right with you there. You got John Basama. Having that, they retold the FF's origin. That was the first time I was able to read the FF, uh, their origin. There's the cat. There's the cat. Sorry, I'm just trying to finagle a few pages here. Nick Fury, Gil Kane cover, Werewolf by Night, Mike Plug. Look at that monster, monster Frankenstein, Mike Plug stuff. God, how great that is! Fish okay. Hang film. This is what they need to make into a movie. Yeah. Not Universal yeah. stuff. Ghost Rider. Salvasama, there's uh, Harlan Ellison. Oh, here we go. Oh, and Jim Mooney. Yeah. Oh, wow. Man, oh man. I'm going to have to. Uh, Is this the uh, ship? A ship schedule? Uh, looks like that's what it is. I can't wait to. Uh, I'm going to have to grab a copy now and I think I may have set a copy aside for myself I'm gonna to have to check but yeah if I haven't I'm sure as hell I'm going to now Rich Buckler Boom. Boom. Friends of Old Marvel. Wasn't that like their fan club? Uh, it was their fan magazine, fanzine magazine, yeah. Sure. There you got more Cockrum. There you got Chris Claremont, old picture of Chris Claremont right there. Quote. Phoenix, early Phoenix designs. Is that the first appearance I assume? First appearance of Phoenix 101, yeah. Alright, oh, the deck again. Master of Quack Fool. Oh, God. Master of Spider Woman, Ms. Marvel. Howard taking Star Wars. You got Rosalind Carter, you got Amy Carter. Nice stuff. Nice. And some biographies. Wow. Very, very cool. Thanks for, uh, yeah, that was from uh, Spider Man, Amazing Spider Man, I want to say 700 that they gave uh, everybody that had worked on the book. Or anyone that worked on Spider Man, their name is in there. Very cool, Nick. Thanks for uh, thanks for letting us uh, check this out. And that went through. It's all dated and everything. Man, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna. I'm sure, I've got an extra copy around here. If not, I'm gonna have to be uh, looking at buying. Now the slipcase. If you look, is there any artwork under the slipcase? If you open the slipcase, up, or is it just? Well, nah, it's got a Ditko Spider-Man. All right. Yeah. Very cool. All right. It's from a cover I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for uh, letting us check it out. If you like these videos, of course, uh, subscribe and hit the bell for notification. Thanks for watching. And thanks again, Nick. No problem. Real quick side note to this video. I had a uh, customer got an original piece by, by Fred Hembeck. Uh, cover to Amazing Spider-Man 174. Unfortunately, I don't have a original 174 that you can compare it to, but take my word for it, this thing is spot on. This is so very, very cool. So very cool. I am, I am, I am, I'm, I'm going to make it my, my life's mission next year to get, to get me a Fred Hembeck myself. This is so cool.
you can't this this video is not even going to do this thing justice but take it take my word this thing is very very cool thanks for bringing it in there jim no and again uh thanks for watching these videos